What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pastor John, it's so good to see you. Today, we're talking about one of the best topics that you could possibly think about as a believer, especially now that we are going into this new year. A lot of people are getting into these year-long Bible studies and they are so helpful, but the question you're asking is, what is the best Bible version for me? So here's the thing, Bible versions are so important and there's a huge span of different kinds of Bibles. So on one end of the spectrum, you've got uh, completely wooden translations, translations that are word for word, but are so strict being word for word that sometimes they're hard to understand. And on the other side of that equation, you have versions of the Bible that are translated in a very loose way or in a uh, phrase by phrase way or close to word by word way and so the two ends of that spectrum you've got on one side the NASB which is extremely wooden it's very word for word and on the other side you've got the uh, NLT you've got the NIV and I think it's probably good to be somewhere in the middle because when I started out following Jesus and I wanted to read my Bible I would go to the NLT or the NIV and I thought it was really great really helpful it was nice to read because it was kind of written in a way that I could understand. Remember, the Bible is a very old book. It was written to a certain people at a certain time, and so there's a lot of interpretation that has to happen. In fact, right now, um, there, I'm gonna put a card up in the corner of how to read your Bible. If you're just starting, this is a good way, three easy steps to understanding actually what you're reading when you read your Bible. But I started out with NLT and NIV because it was just easier for me to read but as I started to understand the Bible more and I read other translations, I started to realize, man, man, these guys are maybe interpreting a little bit too much for me and I wanna know really in the Bible what is said in the Greek, in the Hebrew, and I wanted to get closer to that. And so I tried all sorts of different Bibles. I had friends who would tell me to read the uh, KJV only, which I don't think is a very wise thing to say. Um, I understand there are people who live that way, I don't live that way. Um, so what I ended up landing on for me was this Bible right here. This is the ESV, the English Standard Version. I absolutely love the English Standard Version. I have written, read, written. I've read through this Bible so many times. I've done so many different year plans in this Bible, and the way that it's translated to me is the perfect balance between word for word and the woodenness of the translation and still filling in the gaps a little bit for me when it's not helpful. Now there are some new translations coming out that are gonna be really fun to look at. Uh, actually, if you're interested in Bible translations and Bible versions, I'm gonna be doing a review on the Legacy Standard Bible. I bought a really expensive one that's really, really nice leather, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see that. But like I said, the ESV to me, I think is the best translation for me. Now there are days, especially when I'm reading with my kids, like I'm not picking up the ESV to read with my kids. I'm probably gonna pick up the NIV because it's easier to understand. Uh, my my wife is bilingual, so her first language was Spanish, so sometimes when we read together, it's easier to read something like the NIV as opposed to the ESV. And so here's the bottom line. When you're picking a Bible translation, the best Bible translation that you could have is going to be the Bible that you read. Because it does no good for you if you've got a really wooden translation and you're getting really deep into the Greek but you only read your Bible twice a year. That's not helpful. It is only helpful if you actually can spend time in your Bible. Now a great tip for this would be buying one of these big old chonky boys, right? This is, uh, what is this, cow, not, not even, this is calf leather, okay? This is a gorgeous Bible. I love this Bible. This is an English Standard Study Bible. Um, it's got all the notes you could ever want. It's got awesome maps and different things like that. But I would highly suggest finding a Bible that is filled with good notes by trusted translators. I will tell you that I love uh, the notes in the English Standard Version Study Bible. Um, I, to me, they are so helpful, especially as I'm preparing sermons. I mean, I can get a whole huge amount of text and understanding of a text through a couple sentences through this study Bible. So here are the tips. Get yourself a Bible that you are going to read. No matter what, make sure that's number one. Number two, probably buy a good leather Bible. People kind of you know, get all up in arms about how much people can spend on a Bible. But look, if you spend good money on a Bible, it's going to last you 80, 90, 100, 150 years. You'll be able to pass it down to your children and their children. So I think it's worth putting money into a good Bible. I mean, we spend money on all sorts of stupid things. Why not put it into the Word of God? To get you a Bible you're going to read, get a good leather-bound Bible. Get a good 
study Bible and make sure that you are reading your Bible daily. Because as I said, this is the thing that gives you life. Experiencing God's word, letting the word of Christ dwell in you richly. That is going to be so important. So please find yourself a Bible you're going to love. I would highly suggest the English Standard Version, the ESV, especially this beautiful uh, calf uh, study Bible. It is just gorgeous. So guys, hey, Thanks for checking out the channel. I would love it if you would consider dropping a like on this video. It really does help. You'd be surprised at how much it helps out the YouTube algorithm push this video to people if you drop a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. I'm so thankful uh, for you guys. I love you. I will see you in the next one.